Using the split screen view changed a lot in iPad OS 26. And if you just updated your iPad and are now wondering how to get the split screen view back, you'll have to go to your system settings to enable it first. Go to settings, multitasking and gestures. And on the very top, you can choose between full screen apps or you can choose the windowed layout, which works more like your computer, keeping apps in resizable windows. So to get that split screen view, you'll swipe down from the top of the screen to reveal this little top menu. On the left, you'll see these traffic lights, which will be your window controls. Red will close, yellow will minimize, and green will resize the window. Now I can move and resize this window similar to what we all do on our computers. If you tap and hold the traffic lights, you'll get some options for automatically positioning and resizing your windows. Pick one of the options, and the app you're using gets automatically resized to that specific position, leaving room for other apps. This is all designed to allow for better multitasking, but I honestly think they made it worse compared to the old version. As you can see, I'm struggling to pull up the dock, but after three business days of fighting, I can finally now open another app and place it on the other side of my screen. Here I can let it float partially over the other app, or I could tap and hold my traffic lights to precisely resize it to fill the other side of my screen. Now, this automatic resizing is pretty handy, but it doesn't always work as designed. This app for Victory Plus, for example, simply refuses to resize properly. Maybe it's an issue with iPad OS, or maybe that app hasn't been optimized properly, but this is a good example of how the new windowed system can feel pretty frustrating compared to the old, simple, and easy split screen view on iPad. Demonstrating with the Apple TV app, everything resizes properly. You can do two, three, or even four apps side by side. One thing I do like about this new system is how I can tap and hold my Safari icon and add another browser window to be displayed next to another browser window. I can't remember if this was possible earlier, but I'm pretty sure the old system limited you to just one window per app. Now you can have multiple browser windows open simultaneously, which allows for pretty good multitasking. So that's how you split screen on the new iPad OS. It can feel a little complicated at first, but it does provide some added benefits compared to the old way of doing it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help everyone in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in the next video.